We've had some birds here in excess of 10 months before they've been well enough to go back to the wild. The reason why we only let ones that are perfectly fit to go back is because predators can get them. Hawks and so and eagles, they can spot any animal that has an injury that is not capable of caring for itself. So we make sure that these guys can fly properly, can evade predators, can look after themselves, can fend for themselves. We, and during their convalescing time, we go out under a special permit to gather their natural food stuffs, the, um, the gum nuts, hoggy nuts, the, the banksia nuts. We make sure that we don't demolish the shrubs and trees that these things come from. We prune them properly to be able to get their food. Naturally, when the, feet, the trees and bushes are pruned properly, they grow a little better for next time. But it's awful when you go back where you've been harvesting some of their food and you find that it's been bulldozed down and there's just yellow sand as far as the eye can see. But we do try and make sure that they remain on their natural diets. We supplement them with uh, grey sunflower seed because that's pretty good nourishment for them. Um, we make sure that they've got fresh water, clean water, that they've got every comfort that they can have to be able to convalesce and become wild birds again and go back into the wild. Some birds that can't mend enough to be able to fend for themselves go into breeding programs, which is also tremendous. And uh, these are under control programs by the Department of Environment and Conservation.